Hi Virgo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So this is your December 2017 reading. If I can come back mid-month with some readings, I will do, but we'll see. Um, you've got a triple cross love spread on the channel as well. And also you'll have a live spread coming in December for 2018. So without further ado, I'm using the Witch's Tarot uh, here. And you've also got an advice card or two at the end of the reading through the angel answers, okay? So let's have a look what's coming in for Virgo. Universe Spirit, show me Virgo. What do you see coming in for Virgo in December 2017? Show me Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for December 2017. Show me. All right, we're going to split the deck into three like so. One, two, three. We'll collect that back up like so. And let's just start laying the cards. All right, I mean, some of you guys, it might be... Um, you know what, I feel, I almost feel like some of you guys are having a disagreement with someone and what's influencing this disagreement seems to be a family situation. It might be a situation about other members of the family where there's a disagreement happening here. It might be that there's been a change that's occurred. I'll show you. The influences for the month of December are the Two of Cups in the reverse. And two of cups in the reverse means separation often. It can be a cheating card. It can be a third person involved in the situation. It can be simply that there is a falling out within a friendship. Okay. Uh, lack of agreement with this two of cups reverse. But I think there's a lack of agreement here with the two of cups reverse for some of you guys. Sorry if I was looked towards here. It's just that uh, my other screen is here and I can see how the cards look. I've got a ring light on so it shows the cards up better. But I think there's some form of a disagreement going on here. What's influencing this disagreement is the two of cups there's something about a family situation happening here now it's either that maybe you want something another person wants another thing or this is somebody within the family i feel or because tens represent cycles of change there might have been a cycle of change something that came to an end and this is why we've got the disagreement happening here the reason for this disagreement with the two of cups reverse what's underlying everything is well you've got all of these cards the four of wands so the Four of Wands is all about a successful venture. Uh, again, this is about a marriage or an engagement. So you've got all of these good cards, but it's influencing why there seems to be a disagreement. It's almost like there's a disagreement on something that one of you wants and one of you doesn't want. As a result of that Four of Wands, this is something to do with the home, which is why you've got a disagreement going on here. And you've got the home card of the Ten of Cups as well. As a result of that Four of Wands, we've got the Knight of Wands. So it might be that somebody's left because the Knight of Wands means movement. And sometimes this means moving in a certain direction. And I feel that there's something to do with the home. It could be a marriage. It could be an engagement. It could be a venture. And new venture but I feel that one of you and it might be that you're dealing Virgo with a Sagittarius person or it's a Sagittarius uh, Aries Leo person it doesn't have to be but I think that somebody's really enthusiastic to move in a certain direction the most likely outcome for this situation will be the seven of coins in the reverse um, and I think that the most likely outcome is you guys aren't getting as much as you thought that you'd be getting. Because the seven of coins in the reverse means that you get very little. You've invested something, but the rewards are very, very small. And I feel that if in your foundation the situation is about a home, a family situation with that four of wands, or a venture, a small venture with the four of wands, I think as a result of that venture or a home situation, marriage, relationship, whatever you want to call it, there seems to be a very much a disagreement. I'm seeing that you guys aren't going to be investing in something here with the seven of coins or whatever it is that you've invested, especially if this is about a small venture here, Virgo. Okay, disagreement. Two of cups in the reverse. Some of you guys, it might be that you make a loss because the seven of uh, uh, pentacles in the reverse means that you invest something, but the returns aren't that great. It might be that there's a loss here, for example. Because it looks like what's underlying this is something to do with the venture. It might be you invested in something. There was a disagreement and therefore you incur loss with the seven of coins in the reverse. Seven of coins in the reverse for me also means not to make an investment in a situation as well. Seven of coins in the reverse for me means not to evaluate too. It means that you're kind of done with the situation here. You kind of give up on a situation. The immediate future coming in sees the knight of pentacles. There could be an offer coming to you, some of you guys, but this is your card as well. 
Knight of Pentacles represents a Virgo person. So you guys in the immediate future, it might be that you are, you're either proposing something, I feel, to an individual, or I feel that you're being very cautious, Virgo, with that Knight of Pentacles. Right now, in your external factors, there is the Ace of Wands. I think that there is a new venture or a new relationship that started up. This is a new project as well, something to do with the move. But for some reason... There's a disagree uh, it's feeding through to there being a disagreement around this with this two of cups in the reverse because it's based on there being some form of a successful venture, the four of wands. It could also be about a move as well. Four of wands can represent a move card. And it's almost like as a result of that, somebody's either left or they're charging in a new direction or they're taking, they're enthusiastic to move in a certain direction. But your challenges, I think your challenge is some form of an agreement here. The Ten of Cups. Everybody's got to be on the same side. The most likely outcome will be you're either going to be losing some form of an investment here, I feel, uh, Virgo, or some of you guys won't be looking to invest or you're not looking to wait around on this situation anymore. Coming in, what you're going to experience, though, is the Emperor card. So this is about standing in your power. This is about asserting yourself for some of you guys. And I feel that you will feel... For some of you, it might be a person around you who's asserting themselves. It might be with this uh, Emperor energy. Somebody isn't backing down. Emperors are the most difficult cards in the Tarot Virgo to compromise with. So for some of you guys, if this is an external person to you, it might be that they're unwilling to compromise with this Emperor energy showing here. If this isn't a person then this will be you guys needing to lay down a few boundaries and a few guidelines on how you want this situation to go forward especially if you guys are being very cautious here and you're going through some very important details your hope will be the high priestess and i think the hope of the high priestess is really just to wait to wait and see how things go it isn't to move either way and the outcome shows well we've got disagreement here the three of swords I'm feeling that you're the Knight of Pentacles here, Virgo. I feel that you have something that you want to invest in, but you're being very cautious. So what you're doing is you're sifting through the finer details. And I think that what you're experiencing is somebody here who won't back down the Emperor. They're not willing to compromise with you. And as a result of that, you've got the Three of Swords. Severance and disagreement and quarrels, perhaps, with that Three of Swords. We're going to get some cards and see why these areas are happening. <clears throat> Why is the Ace of Wands showing in the external factors for Virgo? Why is the Ace of Wands showing in the external factors for Virgo? Okay. Um, I think that this is all about uh, a new beginning. And this new beginning is occurring because of a broken friendship, a broken partnership, a disagreement. So it's almost like in your external factors, there is a sense of, a reconciliation I feel going on here because you've got the Ace of Wands showing up and this is all about new beginnings, new projects. So I feel that you're going through in your external factors. It almost feels to me like there is talk off or communication about a new beginning and I feel that this is because you guys might have fallen out with someone with that Three of Cups in the reverse. And that's because in your foundation there is the Four of Wands and what's this Four of Wands about? Why is the Four of Wands in the foundation for... Virgo for December 2017. Ace of coins. There's something about a home move or purchasing a home, perhaps. The four of wands is showing up because of the ace of coins. Now, the ace of coins is all about money and new property ventures. So I feel that there is something to do with the home. And this is showing up perhaps wanting. I think there's something to do with the move. And it could be the situation is around purchasing, laying down money for a move or making some form of an investment in a new venture or a home. But as a result of that, we've got the knight of wands. And what's the knight of wands about? In the recent past as a result of this four of wands ace of coins what's the knight of wands about two of wands well i feel that somebody is they're either enthusiastic they've changed direction because i think that you and this individual cannot come to a compromise so it's either that somebody's left this situation i feel with the knight of wands because with the two of wands you're stuck at a crossroads in this situation or i feel i think that somebody left a situation here with the knight of wands because you simply couldn't compromise I, i'm seeing a lack of a compromise here with you and an individual virgo and as a result of that your challenge is the ten of cups and why is the challenge the ten of cups for virgo why is the challenge the Ten of Cups for Virgo? 
because of the moon. I feel that the challenge is agreeing on a situation here. I feel that there is uh, information that has not come to light yet on this situation with that moon energy showing there. And as a result of that, the energies around December will be the two of cups in the reverse. And I'm seeing a lack of an agreement here or a broken promise with this two of cups. And what's the reason for the two of cups around Virgo in December 2017? What's the reason for the two of cups? Okay, I don't I think it's just a delay. I think that there's going to be a, a failed agreement here. Perhaps while you look into or research the situation further with the Eight of Cups, I think it's more to do with, um, I don't know whether this is you guys that have basically put the kibosh on an agreement here or whether this is somebody else. It's either you or somebody out that's put the, uh, uh, the kibosh on an agreement or they've broken an agreement here because I think that more research is needed on this situation with the Eight of Pentacles showing here. The most likely outcome will be the Seven of Coins reversed. And what's the reason for the Seven of Coins reversed being the most likely outcome? What's the reason for the Seven of Coins reversed? Well, I'm seeing loss here. I'm seeing you guys, you're not investing in a situation here. I'm seeing the breakup of some form of an agreement. Five of Cups is loss. I'm seeing you guys not investing in a situation here. And I think it's because you're falling out with someone or there's been a disagreement happening here with this Five of Cups. Coming in, you've got this Knight of Pentacles. Why have you got the Knight of Pentacles? This is Virgo. Why have you got the Knight of Pentacles coming in for Virgo? Well, it's either you that will be looking maybe to invest. This could be in a new venture here with the magician. Or this is somebody who's offering you something because of the magician. They want to start something up here. The magician is about starting things up. It's about acting on an intention here. And I feel with the Knight of Pentacles as well, if this is you guys, I think that you'll be taking what you have, Virgo, and looking to invest it. But you're going to be very responsible before starting something up. I think you guys have still got a dream here. You've still got some form of an intention. Okay, but I don't see you giving up on a situation here. You're just looking to invest maybe your resources or something else in another area. However, what you'd experience is the emperor coming in. And what's the reason for the emperor coming in as what Virgo will experience? I do feel that somebody's not going to want to compromise. And they're not going to want to compromise on some form of either reconciliation with that temperance card. Or I'm seeing somebody who's very kind of very, um, they're very much a stalwart. So I think this is an external person that you guys are going to experience here. But it's going to be very difficult to talk to them. Maybe they've got plans of their own with the temperance energy. Or maybe they're not going to want to compromise with you with that temperance energy showing there. Your hopes or fears will be the high priestess. And what's the reason for Virgo's hopes or fears being the high priestess? Show me. Well, I think that you are going to be fearing this. You're fearing that this thing, there's going to be a long wait for anything to change with that death energy in the reverse. It's, I think a situation is not being resolved here. And your fears are having to just sit tight and do nothing. It might be your fears are that you can't do anything. Because something here is not being resolved with that death card in the reverse. And the outcome shows it's a three of swords. And what's the reason for the three of swords and the outcome for Virgo? What's the reason for the three of swords as the outcome for Virgo? I'm seeing a rejection here. I think there's going to be a re uh, um, I think there's going to be uh, some disappointing news. Or there might be some form of quarrels with that three of swords. Or there might be some form of a disagreement. And I think that this is because you guys are being rejected. It's either you're rejecting something or I see somebody rejecting you. But I think somebody's rejecting you from something, Virgo. Because you've got coming in this Emperor. And I think it's going to be very, you're going to find it very difficult. There's a blockage card. Emperors can be blockages. They're very difficult people to talk to. Uh, somebody's very, very powerful around you. And I think that they will be very difficult to talk to. Uh, but it's because of temperance. I think that you're wanting to... Um, Make some form of uh, alliance. What's it? What's the word that I'm looking? Alliance. I think you guys are looking to make some form of an alliance with someone. 
I'm going to just get further clarity on that. Why is this coming in? Why is it that the Emperor and Temperance are coming in? Why is the Emperor and Temperance coming in as an influence? Because of the Nine of Swords in the reverse. I think that there's somebody that you want to make some form of an alliance in coming in. And I think it's because you need to rid yourself of some form of a worry here. There's some form of pressure that you guys need to rid yourself off with that Nine of Swords. But I'm seeing uh, disagreement in the Three of Swords. And I think it's something's being rejected here with the, uh, with the uh, Nine of Wands. I'm going to see why there's a rejection in the outcome. Why is there a rejection in the outcome for Virgo? Why is there the Seven of Wands in the outcome for Virgo? Because of the Six of Wands. That's interesting. It wasn't reversed. I almost feel like it's because this person can. Six of Wands shows somebody who's got a lot of followers. They've got a lot of um, recognition around them. It's either because this person doesn't feel that, that you need what you're asking from them, or it's because they feel that they don't need you. They have enough already. It almost feels like somebody's not giving you what you want, Virgo, because they've got enough already. They've got what they want already. They don't need you for something. We're going to get this reading again. I'm seeing you guys, the external factors are showing some form of a new project, or this is a new beginning opening up with the Ace of Wands showing in your external factors. And it's because of the Three of Cups in the reverse that that's occurring. There's been a disagreement. It's almost like you guys are looking for a new uh, beginning. And it's to do with some form of a friendship or an agreement that failed with that Three of Cups reversed. Because in your foundation, we've got the Four of Wands. And Four of Wands is all about new ventures or it's about happiness, abundance. It can be relationships. But also it could be something to do with the, uh, a house or a home and what's influencing that the reason that that's showing up is it's almost like you're looking to pay for something or invest in a new home or usually when you get cards like the eight of pentacles this is about paying down money or investing in something here or this is a project or you're investing in some form of a new venture here but i do feel that as a result of this somebody is a little bit wayward with this knight of wands the knight of wands for me is the card of the maverick Okay, this is somebody who wants to do what they want to do. They don't like to conform. Okay, and I think that as a result of this, somebody is not conforming to this. Somebody wants to go in another direction. And I feel it's with the two of wands. It's either that they lack confidence to move forward with you, Virgo, in this situation. Or it might be with the two of wands that this person wants to ride off into another direction because you can't come to some form of an agreement on this with the two of wands in the reverse. Because your challenge is... The Ten of Wands. And I think that this is either about uh, achieving a cycle of change or some form of an agreement here with this Ten of Cups. And I think it's because there still uh, is knowledge here or there's still some form of information that hasn't been uncovered. It almost feels like to me within this reading, you want something more than somebody else wants it. And I think that somebody's being very, very dubious on agreeing with you Virgo it's almost like you feel like something is a really good idea to go for but I'm getting the feeling that somebody else doesn't feel that this is such a good idea that they, they lack agreement or they lack some form of confidence in this new idea or this new venture and they don't want to go for it and as a result of that you've got a disagreement here I feel with the two of cups showing here and that's because somebody wants a little bit more time to work on numbers maybe with this eight of pentacles or they need a little bit more time to research the situation they might need a little bit more time to build more money something like that but i feel that as a result of that the most likely outcome will be the seven of pentacles in the reverse i'm seeing the failure of some form of a job or a plan here or i'm seeing a lack of investment with that seven of pentacles in the reverse or very small rewards being gained from this situation. And I think it's because you fall out with someone. There's definitely, I feel for some of you guys, a disagreement on the cards over Christmas. And this is over a new home or a new venture. That, And I think it's going to be involving some form of money or financial input. But you want to invest in something. But I'm getting that somebody else doesn't want to invest in it. They feel it needs more time to deliberate on. I'm seeing you guys going out there on your own, Knight of Pentacles. You're doing your research. You've got a long-term goal here, okay, that you want to initiate. 
with that magician. I'm seeing a long-term goal that you want to initiate with this magician energy. But I feel that you're going to encounter somebody who's very resilient and reticent about that with the emperor. Somebody who's not going to want to compromise. So it might be that you're proposing as well new ideas with this magician, especially if it's towards a person who's not particularly invested in your idea. I'm seeing you guys as the uh, Knight of Pentacles, the Virgo card. could be that you're proposing something of a new venture here or a new way of doing this thing to an individual. I think if it's the same individual that seems very reticent to come on board with this idea, Virgo, I'm seeing this person not backing down with the magician energy. Possibly because they don't want to compromise with this temperance energy on trying to release some form of pressure with the Nine of Wands. They're not going to want to compromise because I feel with this Nine of Swords in the reverse, they're not compromising on how they can try and sort this thing out with you. The Nine of Swords in the reverse means to let go of worries and anxieties. And I think there's this person, whoever this person is around you, Virgo, I feel they've got more anxieties than you do in this situation. Your fears will be having to wait a long time for any type of change to occur, the High Priestess. And that's because of the death in the reverse. Something still has no closure. It's almost like the information that the other individual needs, they haven't got it as yet. So it's almost like before you can go ahead with whatever this plan is, there's no potential for this to occur until the other party has their closure until the other party party is satisfied i'm seeing somebody is around you who's not satisfied with the information in this situation and that's why they're not coming on board with you the outcome is disagreement i mean if you think about it i think that you guys are perhaps proposing some form of a new initiative but i'm seeing resilience to compromise with that emperor and the temperance energy because somebody still can't lower their worries with the Nine of Swords. Somebody is still feeling very anxious here. And as a result of that, the Three of Swords, disagreement. And I feel it's because this person tends to reject. They reject the idea that this situation could be victorious, that this situation could be, um, that this situation could lead to harmony or it could lead to some form of great success or it could lead to recognition. Somebody I feel doesn't believe in what you believe in, Virgo. In December 2017. I think that you have tried to compromise with someone here. Because there's a good venture that you could start up with this partner. With this person. But this person is very, very cautious. And they're very, very suspicious. And they don't trust it. And it doesn't matter what you do. If you try and initiate or propose new initiatives... This person will still be very guarded in terms of compromising with you because they don't see, they don't have your vision. I'm seeing that somebody doesn't have your vision and therefore I feel in the outcome there will be disappointment with that Three of Swords because somebody's going to reject the notion that this situation could actually lead to victory. Let's get the advice from the angels. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have for Virgo on this reading? What is the advice that you have for Virgo? Show me. It says he already. So it could be in the outcome as well, yeah. There will be severance or disappointment or difficult communication or difficult arguments going on because somebody's rejecting what you are or they're rejecting what you have to offer. But it might be that with this six of wands, you have to still just go out there and do your thing, Virgo. Okay, if you can't do it with a particular person, then do it for yourself. Go on and try and do it on your own, if you can. The universe is saying, as the advice, you're ready. So in a way, if somebody is not stepping up to the plate with you, if they don't have the same vision that you have, if they don't have the same kahunas that you have, if they don't have the confidence, I'm seeing somebody here that doesn't have confidence. They don't have the confidence that you have in a situation, and that's why they're not rising to the plate with it. They would rather wait and try and sort through the details. They feel that there is more to uncover in this situation here. But I feel that if somebody doesn't have the confidence in what you have the confidence is in, 
the best thing to do. And I also feel that there is disagreement here because somebody is rejecting your advances. If you look at the Six of Wands, he's advancing towards the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Wands person is saying, keep out. So this person advancing towards the Seven of Wands, they're not going to get very far. There's disagreement because there's somebody around you is rejecting your advances or they're rejecting your offer. And the universe is saying, you're ready. Shall we ask why you're ready? Why is Virgo ready? Why is Virgo ready? Why is Virgo ready? Well, it says that you're ready to compromise. It says that you're ready to compromise. I feel in this reading that you're on a higher vibration than who the, ever this individual is, Virgo. Whether this is in... You know, it just feel like a venture that one has to put finances into. It looks like a business partnership to me. But you can read it any way you want to, if it makes sense to you to read it in that way, Virgo. But I think that you're ready to compromise on this situation. So if Virgo is ready to compromise, if Virgo is ready to compromise, then what do they need to do next? What does Virgo need to do next? Oh, it's telling you to choose a new direction. That was the answer. You, this is what I said, choose a new direction. It says that you're ready to compromise, but you might need to choose a new direction. Or it could be you're ready, so compromise and choose a new direction. But I see you guys trying to choose a new direction anyway. I see you guys perhaps proposing some new initiatives happening here, but still this person can't rid themselves of their doubt. This person will not compromise, I feel, with this Emperor card. In terms of re adjustments with the uh, with the temperance energy, temperance means to reconcile, to adjust, to go with the flow, to bring two or four opposing forces together. So it's almost like this person's not ready with the emperor card. They don't want to compromise. Both cards. I mean, temperance means to compromise, and the emperor means I don't want to compromise. So this person's not ready to compromise because they can't rid themselves of their fears with that nine of swords in the reverse. And therefore, I do see severance disagreements because this person is rejecting your advances. But the universe is saying, the advice is, you're ready. So maybe you need to compromise on a new direction. But if you can't do that, Virgo, then I would suggest just go out there and do your thing on your own. Don't wait for anyone who's not really on your wavelength. I see that you have a vision, but somebody doesn't believe it. Somebody feels that they need more time before they can go into this thing with you. If they're not willing to compromise at all, I would say go do it yourself. All right, that's your reading for December. You've got your love reading up there, Virgo, and I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Take care.